So this MGB has been having some problems starting first thing in the mornings with a low battery. Since we're in the winter time and um, getting driven a lot more in the evenings with the lights and stuff on, we're going to do a quick test on the alternator to see if it's putting out enough voltage to keep up with the system or if we've got a drain in the system. Let's go. So normally we'd be wanting to check for voltage at the battery. Now it's not always so easy to do, especially with a GT, because you got to take the whole rear seat out to get the, to get to it. But one of the easy ways to do it, if you don't want to get to the battery, is you can check it right here at the fuse box. Because we're just checking voltage. You can check it here or you can check it there. What we're looking for when it's running is a minimum of 13.8 volts. It would be around 13.8 to 14.2. And once it, and um, if it's showing pretty good, then you want to turn the lights on and other equipment, maybe the headlights, blower motor, whatever, and see if it drops. And if it drops down below the 13.8, then the alternator is not really putting out enough. So we're going to check that. All right, so now we got the car running. There's my voltage. You can check it right here. We got 14.2 at idle. So that's looking really good. Now we just need to turn some equipment on. You turn the headlights on. We are dropping a little bit there. But anything above a low idle is still 13.8. Turn the heater blower motor on. Not working. Alright, well, slight like technical difficulties. So it appears the blower motor doesn't even work on this thing. But we are seeing voltages longer above idle, we're staying where we want to be. Or at least fast idle, so really low idle drops below. So we're actually not looking too bad. So this thing might have a slight drain in it somewhere, which could be a relay sticking or all kinds of things that could be causing that. And that's a much more in-depth video to get into. All right, now we're back. I'm going to actually manually run the motor by connecting it directly to the fuse box. And testing it again. But yeah, when his headlights are on and he's using the blower motor, it's not keeping up with the system, which could explain why running around in the wintertime here like it is, that when he tries to go start it in the morning, it doesn't have enough juice in it. So of course, one of the other signs to look for is when you turn, you see when you turn the key on, this red light comes on. That's telling you that it's not charging. If after you start it, that light doesn't go out, then it's not enough voltage to cancel the light. So it's not battery voltage or better. And the other thing you can look for is if you turn the key out or turn the key off and you still see this on or uh, dim, then the alternator has a bad diode in it and they and needs replaced. So if your alternator has a bad diode in it, what'll happen is it'll drain the battery while it's sitting, like overnight, and you'll end up with a dead battery in the morning. 
So that's why you need to replace it when you have a bad diode. So as always, if you like what I'm doing, give me a like, subscribe, share with your friends. This is MG Rob. Later.